Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Huan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids 1 Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. Hello guys, it's been 3 months since the last episode of Huan Man Raid and I am very happy to be back to work on the series. But let's get a quick recap going because it's been so long, a lot of you guys probably forgot where we left off. So in terms of the Raids KC, I unlocked my 11th upgrade and we decided it was going to be bludgeoned at 825kc so we're going to be working on that very soon in this video. However, there was one upgrade that I unlocked a while ago which was at 600kc the furnace defender that we actually didn't get until the last video the last episode we finally got the furnace defender we broke a 264 dry sugar tlb insane and it wasn't with the furnace defender it was actually with the garazi rapier so it's one of those additional but not mandatory items that i could you know end up using if i get it but it was a lot behind 150 ways although at the time that i got the rapier i already had enough rates 1kc to use it right away so that was cool and then shortly after the rape here i finally got the infernic defender so yeah finally all the previous upgrades have fully been unlocked so it is time to grind for the bludgeon now and also to work on some more raids so that i can unlock some more upgrade slots oh here we go we got it yeah luckily abyssal demons are pretty pretty good Wait, so they're pretty easy to find. We got ourselves the first Abyssal Demon task. Alright, to prepare for the Sire Grind, which is probably going to last at 600 kills. I'm going to go grab myself a few Crystal Bow and uh, imbue them. Four should last a while, at least maybe uh, two tasks or something. Probably not. I'm going to extend it. But yeah, they're going to be needed. I think I pretty much have my gear figured out almost identical to the setup i used to use for mr iron bar but yeah the crystal bow is insanely good for a respiratory system so this full range setup is strictly for respiratories and then i switch to my melee warhammer spec primary if i land a spec and i have a spec left then i use d claws at the end of the phase can easily clear two to three respiratory systems before it wakes up sometimes i can even clear all four in a row I've done that a, f a few times before, but yeah, this works really well. Yeah, those cosmic runes though, man. Three kills in, already got 700 cosmic runes, holy shit. <laughs> That's like 700 recoils I can uh, recharge for Zora in a, in a bit. Ho oh, ho, that 80 with the D-claws. Absolutely smash this kill, dude. Oof, that was insane, bro. Damn, I just chewed KO'd it on the last phase. Oh, wait, did I just hit a 59? I actually hit a 59. Wow. 81, holy shit. And that is about an hour done. What, 30 seconds to spare? Started at 53, ended at 75. So, yeah, it's about, I guess, anywhere from 21 to 23 kills an hour for me. So, that's really good. But yeah, we did 75 kills today. Takes forever. Shit. Oh, no, no, no. Can I get there on time? Holy crap. That was so clutch. Lovely. Oh, it, never mind. We got it. A XP is kind of random here. Magic Power Log. Occasionally, I will do some theater of blood if my close friends ask me to. And uh, some reasons to do it is just really for the Sanguinity staff. It would be a nice item to get passively. It's not mandatory though, so you know what I mean? By no means am I going to take Theater of Blood seriously ever get out of this account, but occasionally. And uh, yeah, I got 300kc at the Theater of Blood though. Oh, oh the Lake Guards. <laughs> Good hit. And just hit 100kc. All right. Oh, there it is! Yo, let's go! Nice. Let's go, man. I thought I wasn't gonna get inspired, but I actually did. Yay. 
First and Sire, pretty excited. Don't be a jar, please. I swear, don't be a jar. Just just anything but the jar, okay? It doesn't even have to be a bludgeon right away. There it goes. Oh, a whip, okay. I wish I didn't have a rapier so I can get some more whips for the Tensko. Actually, no. Oh my god, dude. All right, second one. Let's go. No time to milk, let's go. Oh, yes. The first piece, let's go. Hell yeah, man. Let's go do some more Sire. I have a few more left. 32, okay, like 40 with the bracelet. Hell yeah, dude. Maybe do the gauntlet. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Holy f All right, awesome, let's go. Oh my god, dude, yes. Holy shit, I can't believe this is happening. Never been lucky on a bludgeon before. Holy crap, that's insane. Uh, so, I have killed 92 Sire. Sire is pretty decent money, guys. Even without the uh, base drops, but yeah, the bludgeon is what makes the, the big dollars, though. And there goes my first ever Sire task completed. 211 kills. And, uh, yeah, man, let's try to get another one. See if we, we can get this bludgeon, you know? It's been a long time since I've needed to cook real food because I've just been using brews for, like, everything, you know, from Raids 1 to Theater of Blood. But I have fished a ton of angler fish when I just, you know, don't really feel like playing. And, yeah, I've, I've got thousands. And I'm pretty sure that's enough for, like, the entire series. So I just cook all of this. And once I'm done, I'll be all set for the rest of all PVM. So, anglers are perfect for starting any type of PVM trip. Alright guys, my range potion is looking pretty bad. Only 60 left. But, luckily, from all this raiding that I've done, I've collected over a thousand wines of Sammy. So, 300 TLBs. I got around, I guess, 3 wines average uh, in the long run here. Oh shit, 92 Herbler? Is there anything good there? Super anti-fire potions? Ah, super anti-fires, hmm. Alright guys, converted all the wines of Zamis, pretty much. Now I have 800 ranging potions, 4 doses, nice. Like, the whole threshold thing is just nonsense. Oh, I got the purple! Dude, the Huaman RNG is actually real, dude. Okay, let's honestly just get it. Let's open it, boys, let's go. <laughs> Yo, another Dragon Hunter crossbow, man. I am getting a collection. What a collection, man. What a collection. Oops. That that was a mistake. Oh. Ugh. Wait. Oh. Fuck, man. God, just die. God damn it, bro. Die. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was way too hard. <laughs> Check this out. I'm gonna venge because for some reason, they changed it so that the venge will persist throughout the raids even when you're scouting. So it's pretty damn nice. So I'm just gonna venge just in case I get like a Vasa star or something. That'd be sick. This is actually dope. The Venge is gonna pull through at Fossa. Watch this, the Venge should still work. Oh yeah! That's awesome, man. I was just doing a speedrun earlier and I forgot to switch out my darts. God damn it. All right, let's try it. I'm gonna 100% die, dude. Holy shit! I'm so dead. I forgot to put on my D-high chaps. Oh my god, I was so close. Denied. Eight minutes, holy shit. Dude, imagine. This is insane, bro. I could actually, I might be able to beat my pre-scouted time. Oh well, that's fine with me, because I just got myself a nice self-scout PB with nobody's help of uh, 1947, dude. That's insane. Oh, f I only got 40 Slayer points? Okay, um, 
Hmm, that's that's awkward. I didn't realize uh, I was so so bad on points. Like, damn. But I even hmm. I guess I don't skip these uh these wyverns then, huh? God, dude, Dragon Hunter crossbow. It's so nasty here with rigor. You just like five hit kill these guys, you know, back to back. <laughs> Oh my god, we finally reached the 500 task. I really pray to the Iron Jesus that uh, Konar just doesn't absolutely destroy me with the worst task possible. Give me a good task. Nani? Jellies. Okay, you know what? That's fine, that's fine. I can actually burst those, so... Alright, let's go. 1750? Oh my god. Go for the 2000, please. 1830! Here we go. 1925! How big is this a Slayer points? I forgot. Oh my god, 600. Oh my god, 600. Hell yeah, bro. That's so many skips. Okay, we should be uh, able to get this Abyssal Demon test quite easily. Right, I have 600 points. We're chilling. Oh my god, yes! So fast, bro. Oh yes, I still have basically 600 Slayer points. Juan Man RNG is always on point, I have to say. Alright guys, I made 500 plus health teleports just for this bludgeon grind, so uh, that's like, you know, around 500 kills worth, so... Monka S. Oh, Unsired! Oh my god! Let's go, dude. I'm gonna get hella lucky on this boss. Without further ado, we are gonna submerge this baby into the font. Here we go. Oh man, okay. Okay, okay, you know what? It's all good. An extra whip? That's fine with me, bro. More tents. I'll take it, you know? Perfect. Got the skip too. Got a lot of damage on the D claws. And got the skip. Oh, wow, so many Unsires on the ground, dude. What the fuck? Who attacked my Sire? Yo, that's my Sire, bro. My Sire. Oh, my lord. No. Bruh, what do you do? No. Oh, hate that, man. People hop into my Sire. Fuck. Come on. Wake up. There we go, I got it. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, Unsired, let's go! It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. Hell yeah. Here we go. Dipped it in the sauce. Wait, what? Dip it in the sauce. There we go, here we go. Oh, yes! That's it. It's done. Oh my god. Way better than the uh, Mr. Iron Bar RNG, I have to say. Let's go. Yes. I now have all the components I require, so here's the every weapon I promised. Yay! Alright, and now I can send him free because I forgot to do that on my other account, so. See you later, family. I actually never seen this animation before. Yes! Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, man. People used to sleep on the bludgeon, man, and they still do. But we're gonna use this boy at Tekton. I'll show you the power of this. Nasty thing on Tekton, bro. It's, it'll be so sick. All right, let me test out my max it with the bludgeon right now with this current setup here. Not overloaded, so it's forty-eight. So I don't know when they changed this, but uh, vengeance and anti-poison persists even if you leave raids. So instead of bringing my antidote, I can just uh, bring the bludgeon for now. And uh, I shouldn't have to worry about, you know, shaman rooms and stuff. Because I'll still, you know, be anti for quite a while. So the antidote trick is amazing because I'm able to bring an extra switch as a full-time pre-scout setup. So I was initially thinking the bludgeon would just be for speedrunning. But I've come to realize I should just bring it with me pretty much for all the raids. Because most of my raids, turns out, has Tekton in it. And I'm able to save so much time doing these raids because of the bludgeon. So, for example, I've realized that I can easily kill Tekton in around two anvils, regardless if I land the Warhammer Specs or not with the bludgeon. Before, it was a bit harder uh, with the Hosta, 
I would take at least three to four uh, anvils on average, but the bludgeon has significantly reduced the average kill time a lot. Like the massive crush accuracy, you know, combined with that massive max hit of 49 is ridiculous. It's so good at Taxon. Onyx! <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I've gotten eight Onyxes from Tecton. What the fuck? Oh, what? Well, okay, I guess I'm going for the back-to-back. -back. Alright, here we go, boys. Here we go. Hey, Arcane Pro Scroll. So we got Tecton, Fossa, Type Rope, and Crop. And of course, uh, this layout was really hard to try to beat my time with because Tecton was just really, really bad. But I have my Abyssal Bludgeon, so I think we have the a really good shot now of actually doing this in a reasonable amount of time so I'm gonna try it out you know with the bludgeon of course this time okay so we just cleared tech time about two minutes and that is really good bludgeon did the job I might be able to beat my time with a start this good oh yes we survived eight minutes okay not bad not bad we're gonna get home in like 8 30 so Hopefully we get this to work. Unfortunately, I couldn't beat my PB of like 19 minutes. I went over by a minute. And the problems came down to a slow guardian room because, you know, room pick axe is, is nowhere near as good as dragon pick. Unfortunately, Ohm RNG wasn't on my side. If I could just get a little bit under 11 minutes, I would have beaten my time. But it's okay, you know. We'll get that nice RNG one day. So there are 19 mandatory upgrades. And uh, within the three months that I was away, the new best assault mid helmet came out, which is the Nate Assault Face Guard. So one of the upgrades I was planning to get was the Brimstone Ring, but to be honest with you, it's not really an upgrade. So instead, I'm going to switch that out with the Nate Assault Face Guard. So that is going to be the new addition to the uh, 19 mandatory upgrades. And with that being said, the next item that I will be unlocking and hunting for is the Basilisk Jaw to make the Nate Assault Face Guard. So on episode 39, I actually decided the Dram Pickaxe was going to be my next upgrade. But you see, it's been three months since I last played on the account, so I totally forgot I even made that decision. So I actually decided to go for the Jaw, and I've already been working on that for the next episode. So I can't really like, you know, backtrack anymore. It's a bit too late. Hopefully this will be the last and only time I make such a mistake. If you guys are looking forward to episode 41 of Huan Man Ray, definitely subscribe and ring the bell so that way you won't miss out on a single release. Also, if you guys need a place to hang out while you play RuneScape, my friend's chat, Mr. Iron Bar, is open all the time. We have a really good community over there, and yeah, man, there's always room for more people. And if YouTube content isn't enough, you can check me out on twitch.tv slash ricecup. I stream six days a week. And I do all the grinding, you know, that makes the video possible on Twitch. We also have a really cool community over there as well. So I look forward to seeing some of you guys there. Thank you guys once again for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys soon with another one. Take care and bye-bye.